Hello everybody, welcome back to the Kerbal Space Program. My name is Chris and today we are making the Eurofighter Typhoon. Now the Eurofighter Typhoon is quite a highly maneuverable aircraft. In fact, I've got a description here on the good old Wikipedia. Let's quickly find it. Browse down, browse down, where is it? Come on, let's see. Okay, procurement, production costs. Nope, that's not it. <laughs> haven't really bothered doing any research on this thing. Uh, again, we've used some interesting design techniques here. Uh, notice the fuselages in the center, and then we have other fuselages that are around those fuselages there. Um, because in the actual design, we've got this sort of round part on the very middle top there, and so I've, I've tried to replicate that. Yeah, here's, here's a good description. The Typhoon is a highly agile aircraft at both supersonic and low speeds. Achieved through high what what potentially relaxed stability design. Yeah, it is quite relaxed, isn't it, guys? Yeah, it's pretty plain. That that's the thing that I don't I don't always like making simple crafts like this. That's the thing. It annoys me, but it was requested by a subscriber. That's why I did it, and it's it's only like a one-off type thing. So there we go. Simple enough. We've got it, and let's see what else do we have. Uh, roll control is primarily achieved by the use of flaperons. Uh, pitch control is operational. Uh, I don't know what's going on. I don't know. Like, this is just like random stuff. I don't even understand it. Mm-hmm. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, simple enough. Cockpit. Your fighter typhoon features a glass cockpit. Well, that's not very safe. <laughs> it's like one bullet. Bang! Glass breaks. Wait, I'm assuming it's bulletproof. Glass proof without any conventional instruments. Nope, doesn't say bulletproof. That's not good. You guys tell me, is the cockpit bulletproof, like the glass part, or not? Because I suspect it needs to be bulletproof. Okay. What else? Uh, da, da, da. Nope, nope, nope. Nope. Uh, nope, that's useless junk. Next. Ah, oh, it's got some radar technology, obviously. What else? Performance. Ah, oh, here we go. The Typhoon's combat performance compared to the F-22 Raptor and the upcoming F-35 Lightning II fighters and the French yada yada has been the subject of much discussion. Okay. In March 2005, United States Air Force Chief of Staff, blah blah blah, then the only person to have flown both the Eurofighter and the Raptor talked to the Air Force News about the two aircraft. He said, this is getting interesting, the Eurofighter is both agile and sophisticated but is still difficult to compare to the FA-22 Raptor. They are different kinds of aircrafts to start with. It's like asking to compare a NASCAR with a Formula One car. Yeah, that's a bit of a challenge, right, comparing the two. I mean, I think this one's pretty simple, as I mentioned before, and the F-22 Raptor is a little more, uh, like, better looking, I'd say. Yeah, so I vote F-22 Raptor, what do you guys say? <laughs> okay, well, let's see what he says. They are both exciting in different ways, but they are designed for different levels of performance. The Eurofighter is certainly, as far as smoothness of controls and ability to pull and sustain high G-forces, very impressive. Yes, it is, actually. We actually made it to be just that in the game, so I think I, think I did a good job there. Okay, uh, that is what it was designed to do. Yep. Especially the version I flew with the avionics, blah blah blah, the color moving map, whatever that is, all absolutely top notch. The maneuverability of the airplane in close combat was also very impressive. Wait, you telling me this guy was in close combat with the plane? Ooh, this is lying. He could be lying. This John P. Jumper guy. Let's look him up. Let's see who he is. Do some research. No, oh, he looks like a criminal. I'm going. Anyway, guys, that's uh, we still got some more left of the video. I don't have anything else to say, clearly, so I'm just going to play some Stellar Drone music. Have a nice day.